Hello everyone, uh, it's going to be a little different from everybody, uh, software than anybody else has. My name is William Lott, I am the creator of Lottographs Animated Lottery Videos. And the name Lott, O, and then Graphs describes what the product is. The product is animated lottery videos that are targeted at the $120 billion lottery industry. Our targeted market is 35 million devoted weekly lottery players. So we blend computer animation with real-time lottery data that shows trending activity visually using our patent-pending real-time database animation graphics engine. That was a mouthful. <laughs> you can now actually see the trending activity for the first time in lottery number drawing history taking place in your favorite lottery games. Here's an interesting statistic. Americans spent $70 billion on lottery tickets in 2014. That's more than all sports ticket sales. Football, basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer, all more than all book sales, all video game sales, which are overtaking box office movie sales, and all recorded music sales combined. So it's a huge market we're looking at. The need, lottery players track trends in lottery numbers. Everyone has a system for picking numbers. Some people pick birthdays, social security numbers, license plate numbers. So others use complete, complex computer programs. And some people just track the notes with plain, plain pencil and paper. The solution is, Lottergrass animated lottery videos takes the hard work out of trying to track lottery numbers for you. We use simple, easy to read graphs, the same graphs that are used by professional financial people who track trends in the financial marketplace, stocks, bonds, commodities, and so forth. Lottergrass helps you track trends in lottery numbers. All the user has to do is sit back and watch the trending activity unfold right before their eyes on their TVs, laptops, portable PCs, and their mobile devices. Uh, so I'm here to try to pitch this. This is the first time that the product's been displayed publicly. So I'm trying to drum up support. Um, I'm here really to pitch the product and just try to build a sales and marketing team to help me get this thing out to the marketplace. So right now we have my chief developer, Carolyn, Carolyn Kipling, uh, Sharish, who's a, a developer in India, Hitesh, she's a marketing guy in India doing some work for us, and we just brought on, brought on Tom Lippman, our legal counsel, he's an entertainment lawyer here in the local Boston area. So millions of people play lotteries every day, it's a huge market, really untapped. Um, lottery players look for an edge in winning. Most people track numbers looking for patterns or trends, and the outcome is still the same, everybody wants to have an edge on trying to win the lottery numbers. Who here has played a lottery ticket, either Powerball or uh, Mega Millions or the, the Kino? Yeah, we all play it. And we all see, see uh, people, our friends and neighbors play it. So that's, uh, of grass is sold on a membership basis, subscription basis only, with repeat sales year after year after year. So this thing's gonna generate revenue for a long time to come. So let's do a short demo of uh, the name of the product is called Lottergraph Lottery Videos. And you see here, you're going to see a carousel of numbers. And in the Kino game, in the Kino game, they pick uh, 20 numbers, and here's the 20 numbers in this carousel, out of 80 numbers every four minutes. I've developed this database engine that runs every 60 seconds. So let's take a look at what the latest number is, and I'll just refresh the screen here. These are the, oh, these are the latest numbers that are drawn in the Kino games. So let's just go ahead and refresh the screen here. Are we connected? Yeah, yeah okay, waiting. Now the internet of things is so slow nowadays, huh? <laughs> but computers will be so fast, sometimes it's just so slow. All right, so here's the latest number. The latest number was drawn is, uh, can you see that? I can't see that, I have glasses. <laughs> it's uh, 3140. So if we go back to our Lottergraph Lottery videos, I'm going to just go to the number five and click on that, and we can see that we're up to date with the latest numbers. Our database engine runs every 60 seconds. So then we can uh, track the numbers here to see what positions are uh, tracking, and just click on the number, and it'll show you the activity for that number. Then we have the stack hourly, which shows the activity going on within the last hour, the last two hours, the last three hours, and the last four hours. So then what we can do here is turn on animation and we actually see this trending activity happening right before our very eyes and we see that information happening in real time. 
Then we have this new feature called My Number Picks in Red, so the user can kind of select some numbers here. And I just want to go across the graph so we get an even distribution of numbers. And then they click on Graph My Numbers. Then you'll be able to see your numbers once we turn on the animation remains on. So I'm going to shut it off right now for a minute. So now you can see the, uh, the training activity. These numbers are way out front, which we would call long shots or, or favorite numbers. And then the numbers that you've selected are, select, are highlighted in red. Again, you see this carousel wheel here with different, the, the different the, uh, 20 numbers, they draw to 80 numbers every four minutes. Then we can click on the last hour and see the training activity that's happened in the last hour, the last two hours. And then the, you can see the numbers here that you've selected before in that matrix uh, listed up here. And again, the numbers you've selected are highlighted in red so you can see how your numbers are performing. Again, you can turn on the animation and actually see that trending activity happening visually right before your very own eyes. So now we can actually say, we can say, you can actually see which numbers are hot and which numbers are not. And that's the problem. Okay. That's right. Is there any empirical evidence that's, that Sorry, you know, is there any empirical myself. evidence that shows what is a trendy number is going to be a trendy number five minutes from now? I still think you can answer the question. What's the trending number going on right now? Is that the question? No. I mean, I guess you're, 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 this is predictive as I understand it. We're not predicting any numbers. We're not forecasting the numbers. All we're doing is showing the user lottery number drawing history. Yes, history. That's what we're doing. We're showing you history, drawing history using computing animation. But is there any evidence that shows that what is trending is... And the laws of probability say everything being equal over a long period of time, each number has an equal chance of being drawn. So uh, if you look at it, uh, each number has an equal chance of being drawn. So, so what you should get is a nice bell curve. You should get a nice bell curve here. Again, each number has an equal chance of being drawn over a long period of time. In the short term, you can get spikes and peaks and highs and lows. And that's what we're showing the user. We're showing the user that a trending activity in the short term using computer animation. The position is the position of the draw, the 20 draws? They draw 20 numbers out of 80 numbers every four minutes. I know, so when it says position eight, was that the eighth number dropped out? Or of the eighth pick. Eighth pick out of the 20. Or the position, okay. correct. Yeah. That's why that curve is kind of. That's why you see the curve, right? Any other questions? Kind of a little unique uh, bar system. Go ahead, sorry. Were any of these numbers generated by the sneaky beat? No. <laughs> Not sure what that is, but there, there are other competitive products out there. And I think a lot of time, so I can, uh, but I can just explain more in the back once we get done. When I started working for a contractor in high school, there was an older gentleman who would have all the sneaky deep guys, and he said how to interpret dreams and come up with the numbers. Yeah, everybody has a system of picking numbers. You now, some people birthdays, social security numbers, some people dream of numbers. We say whatever system works for you, keep the system that works for you, but compare the numbers that you're picking to the numbers that are actually being drawn right now in real time. We've talked to the Massachusetts General uh, Council for the Lottery Commission, and so long as we don't use their trademark names and, and so forth, we're good to go. Because when the numbers are drawn, they're in the public domain, so there's no copyright infringement. Is that the answer to your question? No, I just wondered how you populated the market for me. I'm out of hearing. I used to work in the Air Force. The Air Force guy. I was just wondering how you actually populated every 60 seconds. Oh, basically, I've developed this database animation graphics engine that runs every six seconds. And we're using what they call web page scrapers. Okay. Web page scrapers are common. They're used for, like, you know, hotels.com, vicelant.com, the new Trivago site. They go out and grab the airline, hotel, and account places and show you the best competitive prices. We go out and grab the lottery numbers. Go ahead, sir. I have to ask, is your name actually William Watt? My name is William Watt. My name is L-O-T-T. <laughs> 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 yeah, he had the O onto that and grab. <laughs>
That actually describes you. You found your color. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Any other questions? Great, thank you so much.